हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नाइन्थ लेक्चर इन रियल एनालिसिस सो टिल द एट्थ लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड मेनी डेफिनेशंस मेनी एग्जांपल्स नाउ लेट मी टू टेक सम क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर बेस्ड ऑन दिस पॉइंट सेट टोपोलॉजी राइट एंड आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग ऑल द क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम 2006 टू 2021 राइट वन बाय वन इन ईच वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल बी कवरिंग द क्वेश्चंस सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज लेट जी बी द सेट ऑफ इरेशनल नंबर्स द इंटीरियर एंड क्लोजर ऑफ जी आर डिनोटेड बाय G not and G bar respectively, right? And then we have to tell that what is the value of the interior of G and what is the value of closure of G. So since we are given that G is nothing but the set of irrationals, so let me to denote it by Q complement, right? Now we know that what is the interior. If we want to calculate the interior, so now let me to take any irrational number. Suppose this is a irrational number. Now if I want to check whether this point this point will come in the interior or not what i will do i will take a neighborhood right and then i will say whether this neighborhood is contained in this or not this will never happen because even if you take any small neighborhood also it will contain the rationals so you cannot make a neighborhood which is only containing irrationals so it means the g interior will come out to be empty that is what i have written here if i choose any arbitrary x right that is coming from g and g is nothing but the set of irrationals right and for all epsilon greater than 0 if i consider any neighborhood that is x minus epsilon to x plus epsilon right it definitely contains rational numbers right which do not belong to this set g therefore x is not an interior point and x was arbitrary element right that was coming from g therefore the interior of the set will be empty for discussing the closure let me to tell you what is the closure for closure you need to do two things you need to do the union of g with the derived set right with the derived set so for this we just need to see that what is the derived set in case of irrational so if the set is of uh, irrationals we need to calculate the derived set now see if you consider any point x right and now we want to calculate the limit points right the collection of all the limit points now just see if you make a very very small neighborhood also right if you make very very small neighborhood that is x minus epsilon to x plus epsilon and what you will do now just take the intersection of this neighborhood right with the g set and exclude this point x clearly this is non empty clearly right it will contain many points because rationals and irrationals are dense right so if i consider this point x or x to be any real if you draw a neighborhood right and then you take the intersection with this rationals except that point it will definitely come out to be non empty because if we consider any arbitrary point on real line and if you draw a neighborhood this neighborhood will definitely contain infinitely many rationals and irrationals because we know that they are dense sets now this x was any arbitrary right x is any arbitrary real number derived set in case of g is nothing but real so if my g is irrational so the derived set in that case is all reals what is the closure the closure is nothing but g union g prime what is g g is irrationals union with reals so what it is it is nothing but reals so let us see what is the correct option the closure of g is nothing but reals right and the interior of g is nothing but empty so c is the right answer so i hope this question is clear to you now for more such videos do subscribe to my youtube channel and do not forget to press the bell icon Thank you so much students